What is up, people? Let's get back to looking at some Surya Sun's videos that you guys have sent me. कितना दूरी है यहाँ से सूर्य का? पंद्रह लाख कुछ मिल। उस दूरी की संख्या को सूर्य के डायमीटर से डिवाइड करो तो संख्या कितनी आती जानते हैं? एक सौ आठ। चंद्रमा की दूरी को चंद्रमा के डायमीटर से डिवाइड करो तो संख्या आएगी एक सौ आठ। सूर्य आत्मा का प्रतीक चंद्रमा। The sheer amount of anger he has in his demeanor when he says this. Uh, it makes it sound like it's coming from a sanatani extremist okay the sun is as big as it's far away as the moon is so the moon is 400 times closer to the earth than the sun but the sun is 400 times bigger than the moon because of that the moon and the sun can perfectly cover each other that's why we have total solar eclipses we can have partial solar eclipses and if the moon is a little further in its orbit, we can even have annular solar eclipses. This is unique to the Earth. We have never discovered any other planets having this uh, sun to moon ratio. And as far as we understand, we know, we have no evidence, no reason to believe this is anything other than coincidence. But um, yeah, let's see what he says. Yeah, I think we have a guy who uh, is going to beat our Hindu science minister, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Does that mean there's quantum science in the Upanishads? Just because Niels Bohr is an important scientist in the field of quantum physics doesn't mean everything he did in life is scientifically valid. That's an appeal to authority. I'm sorry people, I hope you'll forgive me for the sudden change of shirt uh, because I'm filming this on another day. We have another video here that is potentially competition for our uh, another person who's competing for the title of Hindu science person. Um, let's watch what he has to say. So, they say that Sanatani is back. Six thousand years ago, Varamuthishwar temple was made, which is also in Tamil Nadu. How does the reproduction system of their walls have been made? It has been made by sculptures, it has been made by carving. What will the shape of the sperm cell be made by the walls? I have a couple of things here. Number one, what he's talking about a vague representation of something that looks like a sperm could be a snake, could be some sort of eel, reptile or something and that uh, circular thing could be anything. Could be a circular, I don't know, a fruit or some prey or something. But just because something resembles a sperm and an egg, isn't this an assumption you're making, the conclusion you're coming to? That's what I would say. And also, there's a big problem here, okay? People assuming that you can actually learn these things without a microscope. So how do you observe a sperm and an egg inside the womb? How are you, how are you actually learning all these things to put it on sculptures? Like, are you learning things just magically? What he's promoting promotes the idea that people can learn things magically. That cannot happen or we have absolutely no evidence for that happening. You can only learn things through evidence and evidence is what you get through a microscope. So the assumption that this is talking about a sperm, sperm and an egg is, an, is a huge logical leap that this person's making. Let's see what more he says. जो आकृति आज 400 साल पहले माइक्रोस्कोप बनने के बाद हमें पता चला कैसे वो आकृति हमारे स्कल्पचर्स में 6000 साल पहले बनाई गई है स्पर्म सेल की कैसे स्पर्म्स ओवरीज में इन्फ्यूज होते हैं फिर जाइकोड बनता है बच्चा डेवलप होता है स्पर्म्स डोंट फ्यूज विद द ओवरीज दे फ्यूज विद द एग द ओवरीज प्रोड्यूस द एग बट इदर वे यू हैड एब्सोल्युटली नो आईडिया अंटिल साइंस एक्चुअली डिस्कवर द स्पर्म एंड एग that this temple is talking about the sperm and egg or you had no idea to make that conclusion until this was actually discovered by modern science so what is the actual discovery here garbhavati ka process ye hai hum 6000 saal pehle kaise jante the angrezon ne to 400 saal pehle microscope ko banaya kyunki tumhari science se lakho karodo guna better hamare sanatani ki vedic science aur iska praman pratyaksh hamare samne maujood hai to what a flow you both bro but uh, I... 
like anyone rational anyone who has faculties of critical thinking will never take any of this seriously hum kyun na saath nahi hone pe kyun na apne vedic science pe garv kare yeah i want to see something actually being invented something actually being made using vedic science and then i'll be proud of vedic science but until then it's just pseudo science bro you know what i'll tell you right now the problem with vedic science is that it it has zero predictive power it can only say hey this was said in the past it cannot predict what's going to happen in the future because until modern science discovers something it cannot say hey look at the past we said in, in the past if Vedic science or whatever you call Vedic science no such thing actually exists but whatever he calls Vedic science if that's able to predict something that actually happens in the future then you can say there is something scientific in there but until then it's untestable it's unfalsifiable it's not scientific next video let's watch this one itni badi abadi ke bhakti ka kendra hone ke bawajood bhi log shivling pe mazaak ke sawal khade karte hain aur mazaak ke sawal kya कि ये एक सेक्स ऑर्गन है जबकि साल 1900 में आई मीन दैट इज फैक्चुअल राइट इट्स नॉट ओके फाइन सम पीपल माइट से दैट विद एन इंटेंट टू मॉक बट इट इज फैक्चुअल राइट देयर इज द शिवलिंग एंड देयर इज पार्वतीस योनि और आई डोंट नो आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट व्हाट बट द बेस इज बेसिकली अ योनि राइट सो यस दैट्स एक्चुअली फैक्चुअल नाउ if the intent of the people who see this is to make fun yeah that is probably not the best way to reach the people who disagree with you yeah i agree but let's hear what he's saying let's see how he is actually reaching the people who agree with him ami vivekanand ne paris mein ja kar ke hinduism pe lecture diya tha aur wahan par unhone shivling pe bhi bola tha aur unhone bataya tha ki shivling energy ko represent karta hai which can be nuclear energy too that oh my god dude so um uh, first of all appealing to the authority of swami vivekananda uh, then it he did talk about how shivling is a source of energy that can be nuclear energy too see the leap the giant logical leap that he took this is what he is giving the the people who agree with him and what are you doing any better any better job than the people who make fun of it like you're making indians look bad you're making the people who trust you and follow you look bad by giving them this sort of information is lecture ke baad se western authors aur researchers ka nazariya to badal gaya parantu kuch hindustani ko nahi kyunki unhe keval ek hi cheez nazar aati hai swami ji ne apne lecture mein bataya i have a lot to say about you know content creation while trying to make fun of the people uh who criticize you and uh, giving this sort of pseudo science glorious looking pseudo science uh to people who follow you but i don't know that will be an entire other video but uh, yeah don't think i should say it here aata ki shivling creation ka bhi pratik aur sath hi sath mass basically what i'm going to say is that uh, you can only do this if you are on the side of the majority and right now the majority is the religious right destruction ka bhi kuch researchers like kethre mcgowan ne shivling aur aaj ke again appeal to authority but nuclear power plants ka comparison kiya tha in dono ki shape identical same hoti hai in dono ka ek base hota hai jisse extra water bahar jata hai yeah uh, just make some comparisons find some similarities like let's say the shape or the uh, water disposal method I mean that must mean that it is a nuclear reactor right I mean yeah see for something to be radioactive there has to be the presence of radioactive elements and uh, if you show me that and if you actually show me uh, that uh, cosmic rays or uh, radioactive maybe gamma rays are being released from it you can measure that using a geiger counter you do this and you have evidence that it is radioactive but without that why you're just saying all this right shivling par doodh aur dahi chadate hain prata ke anusar parantu nuclear reactor pe bhi pani dala jata hai usse thanda rakhne ke liye zyada tar shivling aapko kisi nadi ke kinare pe milte hain aur nuclear power plants aapka kya most oh, i'm going to look that up I actually what don't y'all look that up do all nuclear reactors occur on the shore of a river can us bare mein comment batana Right now, this is the sort of pseudo science that's going out to his audience. So he's not doing any better than the people that criticize him. But okay, 
yeah that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one